Hello everyone, this is Baylor from ScoobyDooByDoo.com and um, I'm going to show you how to make a CMS with PHP using um, modern techniques. Uh, so I noticed CMSs are quite popular on YouTube and uh, I'm, I'm not this I'm not just going to show you another rand or normal technique that I've noticed that most people use. I'm going to show you the technique that uh, most corporate businesses use. I'm pretty sure. Um, I've only talked to a few couple people, and uh, I'm going to show you. I, I haven't seen any of their work, but I'm pretty sure this is how they do it, and this is the way I write all of my CMSs. Okay, so um, what I want to do is go ahead and show you my database. So I have a table or a database called Modern CMS. And I've added a table to this called CMS underscore content. And um, it has an ID, it is an integer, it's auto increment, and it's a primary key. Then we have our title, it has a var care of 75, so max link is 75 characters. And uh, that's all that has. And the body is a long text. And I've already inserted two random rows. They're, uh, you know, they just have some dummy content to them. So then um, in my file, or my actual folder, I'm sorry, it's just modern CMS, and it has an index file, which is just a random, H or not random, but just an HTML file with a title, my modern CMS. And then we have a style.css, which is our CSS file, and it's just a basic template that I put together quickly for this screencast. So starting at the top we have a universal selector that resets the margin and padding for most if not all HTML elements on the page. Um, I've given the body a background color of light gray. Uh, all heading tags have a font family of Georgia. I'm not going to read all through that. Um, then for headings with links inside of them, the color is green, text decoration is none. You can see I already have a border. Uh, and then when you hover over them, it goes to dark green. Pay, pay, uh, paragraphs have a padding of 3 pixels. And page wrap has a width of 75%. And white space is added to it with a background color. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and add our page wrap to this index.php file. So div page wrap. And let's go ahead and... For this file, just um, this video is going to cast as a must server because in the first one, I'm just going to kind of we're just setting up that based in our template. So we'll go ahead and create our heading tag and call this a great host. And um, this is just the structure that we'll be using for creating all of our rows in the database. And then uh, this is just going to be a paragraph. Okay, so let's go ahead and reload this page. And you'll notice that nothing happened because I didn't link my CSS file to this. So we'll go ahead and do that. And uh, this is the file that, this is what it's going to look like. So thanks for watching this one. Please stay tuned and look for part two where we'll be using PHP to generate a connect to the database and select all the data from the database dynamically. So uh, thanks for watching. Please stay tuned.